Good morning, students. Welcome to Narada Online Live Classes. Today we are going to see trigonometric uh, ratios of an angle 90 plus theta, 180 minus theta, 180 plus theta, 270 minus theta, 270 plus theta, and all. So how the trigonometric ratios change? How the, how they behave? And all we are going to see. See some of the examples on this. Before seeing the examples, let's see the basic thing. What is sin 90 plus theta? What is cos 90 plus theta? What is tan 90 plus theta? What is uh, cosecant 90 plus theta? <coughs> what is secant 90 plus theta? What is cot 90 plus theta? 90 plus theta means second quadrant. In second quadrant, sign is positive. Positive. 90 means 90 into 1. So odd multiples of 90. For odd multiples of 90, sign converts to cos, cos converts to sign, uh, tan converts to cot, cot converts to tan, secant converts to cosecant, cosecant converts to secant. Sin 90 plus theta. Cos theta. 90 plus theta, second quadrant. Second quadrant cos is negative, minus. 90 means odd multiples of 90. For odd multiples of 90, cos becomes sin. 90 plus theta, second quadrant. In second quadrant, tan is negative. For odd multiples of 90, tan becomes cot. 90 plus theta means second quadrant. In second quadrant, Cosecant is positive. For odd multiples of 90, cosecant becomes secant. 90 plus theta, second quadrant. So in second quadrant, secant is negative. 90 means 90 into 1. For odd multiples of 90, secant becomes cosecant. Cosecant theta. 90 plus theta, second quadrant. In second quadrant, cot is negative. For odd multiples of 90, cot becomes 10. The same way, sin 180 minus theta, cos 180 minus theta, tan 180 minus theta, cosecant 180 minus theta, secant 180 minus theta. Cot 180 minus theta. Let's see. 180 minus theta again in second quadrant. In second quadrant, sin is positive. In second quadrant, cos is negative. 180 minus theta in second quadrant. In second quadrant, tan is negative. Cosecant positive. In second quadrant, secant is negative. Cot is also negative. 180 means 90 into 2. For even multiples of 90, Trigonometric ratio doesn't change its face. So sin remains sin, cos remains cos, tan remains tan, cosecant remains cosecant, secant remains secant, cot remains cot. Right. Next. Let's see. Sin. 180 plus theta, cos 180 plus theta, tan 180 plus theta, cosecant 180 plus theta, secant 180 plus theta, and cot 180 plus theta. 180 plus theta means third quadrant. This is second quadrant and this is also second quadrant but whereas this is third quadrant. In third quadrant only tan and cot are positive. So remaining all are negative. Next. 180 means even multiples of 90. For even multiples of 90, trigonometric ratio does not change its 
फेस फॉर साइन रिमाइन साइन कॉस रिमाइन कॉस टैन रिमाइन टैन कोसिकेंड रिमाइन कोसिकेंड सीकेंड रिमाइन सीकेंड कॉट रिमाइन कॉट सो दिस आर द बेसिक थिंग्स दैट वी नीड टू लर्न बिफोर डूइंग दिस एग्जांपल्स नाउ सो दिस इज क्लियर कीपिंग दिस इन माइंड लेट्स सी सम ऑफ द एग्जांपल्स Find the value of cos 25 degrees 
plus sin 40 degrees minus tan 130 degrees. Here 225 degrees is nearest to the which quadrant angle? 220 degrees is nearest to the either 180 or 270. So I can write this as 180 plus 25 or 270 minus 45. We can write 225 as 180 plus 45 or 270 minus 45 plus sine 45 degrees minus tan. 130 degrees is nearest to which quadrant angle? What are quadrant angles here? 90 degrees, 180 degrees, 270 degrees, and 360 degrees. All these are called as quadrant angles. 135 can be written as 180 minus 45 or 90 plus 35 also you can write. 180 plus theta means third quadrant. In third quadrant cos is negative minus cos. 180 plus theta cos 180 plus theta minus cos theta minus cos 45 degrees plus sine 45 degrees. Tan 180 minus theta, tan 180 minus theta, minus tan theta. Already one minus is there. With another minus, it will become plus tan 45 degrees minus cos 45 degrees. We know that minus one by root two. Sin 45 degrees, we know that one by root two. Tan 45 degrees, we know that one. Plus one by root two minus one by root two gets cancelled. We get plus one. Let's see one more example. Simplify. Cos 180 plus theta plus sin 180 minus theta plus cos 180 minus theta plus sin 180 plus theta cos 180 plus theta plus sin 180 minus theta minus cos 180 minus theta plus sin 180 minus theta cos 180 plus theta 180 plus theta means third quadrant in third quadrant cos is negative so minus cos 180 means even multiples so even multiples of 90 cos minus cos theta sin 180 minus theta sin theta minus cos 180 minus theta minus cos theta Sin 180 plus theta. 180 plus theta means third quadrant. In third quadrant, sin is negative. 180 means even multiples of 90. For even multiples of 90, sin remains sin. Therefore, minus cos theta plus sin theta minus of minus plus cos theta minus sin theta. Minus sin theta plus sin theta. Plus cos theta minus cos theta. So we get Zero. So this is how we do all these questions. Let's say two more examples so that you can you'll get an idea. So only thing you need to remember here is the quadrants. In first quadrant which are positive, in second quadrant which are positive, which are negative, in third quadrant what trigonometric ratios are negative, in fourth quadrant what trigonometric ratios are positive. If you remember all these and if you remember the quadrant angles, you can find the values of this very easily. See one more question. If cos theta is minus 4 by 5, cos theta is minus 4 by 5, then the value of tan theta is if cos theta is equal to minus 4 by 5, then the value of tan theta is. First, see the question. Cos theta he has given as negative. Cos theta is equal to minus 4 by 5. Cos theta is negative, which 
quadrants in the previous class we have seen that in first quadrant all are positive in second quadrant only sin and cosecant are positive in third quadrant tan and cot are positive in fourth quadrant cos and secant are positive so cos is negative in which quadrant second and third quadrant so theta belongs to either second quadrant or third quadrant adjacent is for 